Guys, so, this vlog is a vlog that I'm going to be using to make things up to you guys. I have got some really exciting news. I just got a red tail boa, and I told you guys I'd be getting a new snake. You guys, I told you that it was going to be a blood python. The reason it's a red tail boa is because I'm still going to get the blood python. I just haven't been able to get to it yet. And this red tail boa was kind of like an early gift. It was kind of like something to get things started off a little bit quicker. So, I got in luck. Unfortunately, the snake is not 100% healthy. It is sick. It has a respiratory infection. And fortunately, it has started to get better already where I can actually see differences. So, I'm doing good on that note. I feel like that red plane is going to be like the thing in our videos. Like, it's going to be that thing, that trademark, you know? So, well, I'm excited. I feel like it calls for celebration. I'm going to start things off with getting stoned. So that is what I'm going to do. Like I told you guys before, I'm, well, I'm not sure if I told you guys before, but I'm pro pot. I have no problem with it. Um, That is one thing about me. So I'm going to start things off with that. And I feel like, I, you know, I'm a little bit more of a fun person when I'm high. I uh tend to not be so uptight like most people are when they're, you know, stoned. But... Yeah, I mean, I'm a little bit more more on that uh, side of things, so I am going to get stoned, but first things first, I want to thank you guys for watching. I have thought about having a YouTube vlog for years now. It's been something, I mean, you know, that's kind of like you guys getting the idea to be famous. Yes, it's a great idea. If you were famous, things would be a lot easier. But, what are the odds you're going to become famous, no matter how hard you try, right? Well, this vlog was kind of like, a, this vlog was kind of like a leap of faith. Not just this vlog, I worded that wrong, but this vlog channel was kind of like a leap of faith. I'm doing this knowing that it might not go anywhere, knowing that it might be a waste of time that I will never get back in my life because time is a one-time deal. I'm just kidding. But, no, really it is. <laughs> I mean, I am taking this chance, guys, because... I have faith in what I'm doing, and I'm trying to prove that to myself with this and you guys, so have some faith with me. Oh, beautiful. Okay. Have faith. Have some patience with me, guys. We'll get there together. And who knows? This could be something fun one day. I mean, now it's starting off with me in my house and a YouTube channel with these reptiles, but one day this could be... And all because of you guys watching and this getting popular, this could be something one day where you guys are at a fair and you see me at a booth and I've got my own booth or even something as big as a TV channel or a program that reaches the news one day and you smile and say, I remember that. I remember when that first started off when it was just something that was being talked about. That would be cool. But guys, I told you I was going to get stoned, I'm going to get stoned, and then I'm going to show you guys this beautiful new snake, oh my gosh, I am so happy to have it, when the blood python gets here, things are just going to start to pick up, these vlogs are going to get way harder to do, but they're going to get so much better, and I've actually, I've been wondering too, I'm like, well, what, what, what would be cool for these guys, what are they going to want to sit down and watch when they're on vlogs with me? And I'm guessing it's going to be either me getting bit by a snake in the face or attacked by a kangaroo or zombies coming from behind me and killing me. <sighs> Just kidding. Okay. It's going to be things like that. Exciting things that people want to see because most of the time when you click on YouTube videos, it's because of what the thumbnail says and it's usually because the thumbnail has something to do with the person that had made the video getting hurt or whatever the case is. But... Yeah, so, that's the deal there. Um, so yeah, let's get stoned, and then let's, uh, go ahead and get this snake out, so. Well, 
I'm pretty toasted, but... Wow. <coughs> For all you guys of my viewers that, uh, smoke weed, um... <coughs> this is some pretty okay, bud, um... Yeah, you guys can see it pretty good, but... Oh, shit. Who knows that moment when you drop all the weed and you're just like, ugh, that sucks. Okay, luckily, I literally got so lucky and caught every last little bit of it. God, God, I feel like sometimes he's looking out for you. <laughs> oh my gosh. That lamp is so cool looking right now. Oh my gosh. It's so weird being on video with you guys when I'm high. Oh my gosh. Because, I mean, you know, being on video with somebody sober and being on video with somebody's high is completely different. Especially when I, you know, I gotta kinda, you know, I mean, I'm just kinda smoking weed with you guys on video right now. So it's weird to say this, but I gotta kinda try to impress you guys, you know, try to um, look good to you guys, I guess, in a way. I mean, I don't think weed is lowering myself or anything. I think weed is definitely a positive thing. For me, I feel more in tune with all the reptiles when I smoke weed. Oh my gosh, I'm talking too much. I gotta get this snake out. You guys gotta see it. So, give me a second. I will be right back. But I get sidetracked a lot when I'm high. So, who knows? Oh my gosh, I can't even got the video. <laughs> okay, give me a minute. Alright guys, so on the way over here, there was, like, something really bad happened, and, um, uh, the snake actually died. So, yeah, I know that's depressing. I'm kidding. You guys are so mad right now. Oh my gosh. Actually, I have him right here, and he is fucking gorgeous, but only problem is you guys see how his head's all up in a knit like that. It is because his respiratory infection has got him feeling very vulnerable, and he's trying to protect his head, as well as his head is in an extreme amount of pain. I can't have him out for too long, guys, because he is in a lot of pain. But if you guys look close enough, you see his mouth isn't looking too good, and the forks on his tongue, they come out every once in a while. Let's see if he'll do it. I shouldn't do this, but yeah, you see the he's not he's got some snot and some crust around his mouth. It's from the respiratory infection. I actually um looked up something on YouTube that is a remedy for that, and it worked for me on multiple snakes. Um, this is the third one that I have tried it on and started to see improvements. This snake, in a minute, I'm gonna probably be able to get him to let his head out. But, um, most of the time, uh, for me, the Vicks Vapor Rub and boiling water, and then it's a tube in, basically, uh, that's how you do it. And you put the snake in a smaller bin, you put the smaller bin with holes in it. In the big bin, you put a boiling, um, pot of water with Vicks Vapor, a table spinner, ever how much. You guys should look the videos up. In, a, in the pot of boiling water, you mix it all up, and then you put it in there with the snake um, in the big bin with him in the little bin, and while that is happening, uh, he's breathing it in, and it somehow, I don't know exactly how, it helps him. I've had snakes live, and sorry, he's kind of aggressive because he's got uh, issues with his respiratory infection, but... I try to show snakes, even when they're like this, that I'm not trying to hurt them, but at the end of the day, you guys see, he is a huge snake, and if he were to bite me, it would be a huge problem uh, if he were to really sink in. But for the most part, guys, even a snake this big, they don't really do much damage when they bite. They usually tag you. He's getting ready to shed his skin, but they usually tag you, and then as soon as they tag you, boom. That's done. Sometimes it'll bleed a lot because they have, um, I've told you this before, a blood thinner in their saliva. Uh, that when they bite you just makes it look worse than it is really. But, um, it's not that bad. I mean, their teeth aren't that big and they don't really, they know we're too big to eat. They're just biting us to try and scare us to get, them, get us to leave them alone. So, you know, 
you're holding on to the snake. The only reason a snake will ever bite you really and hold on is if you're holding on to the snake. He's going to bite. He's going to try and do enough damage to scare you off of him, and then that's all he's going to do. I mean, no snake's going to sit around long enough to get killed just to try and do some damage with his little mouth. But, uh, the, however you guys know that there are snakes big enough to eat people, I think, um, a reticulated python could eat a person easily. A full-grown one, um... Those are gorgeous snakes. I always wanted to handle one. Um, and guys, you're going to see me with some pretty big snakes. Snakes that are going to take up whole walls on, in this room than to have. But um, I probably won't be in this house uh, at that time because we're working on moving soon. So you guys are going to be with, a lot, with us through a lot in these vlogs. I'm about to start vlogging more too. But uh, really... um. You're going to see me with big snakes, and I mean, I, you know, I love these snakes. I look at all of them as, uh, there he goes, there he's letting his head out a little bit. Uh, he doesn't want to. He wants to get nip at me a little bit, but he's showing himself a little more now. You guys can see his mouth isn't looking too nice. Sometimes see how the fork came out right there. If you rewind and pause to that part of the video, second time his forks came out, fork tongue forks were stuck together instead of like this they were like this you know but um that's because they're uh, all sticky and snotty up in there and everything like that because of the respiratory infection vix kind of uses that up at first it'll uh make it run more so that they can spit it out snakes will rub it out in the glass you just got to keep washing it and oh my gosh guys never ever ever put a snake that in a tank that previously you had a snake die in from a respiratory infection never put a new snake in one of those tanks before you clean that tank all that rubbing and stuff on the side of it they're doing that bacteria and that whatever causes that respiratory infection it's just growing inside that tank if you don't wash it you gotta wash it especially the bedding anything that holds moisture will hold that infection so you gotta get that stuff cleaned up before you put a snake in there but guys, snakes like this, one point I will make is I never underestimate them. I mean, yeah, most of the time, most of the time, most of the time, you, that's a word that people use all the time, and it can get you hurt. Most of the time, the snake's not going to hurt me if he bites me, but sometimes he gets me in the eye, he gets me somewhere, he can make it count, and it can cause problems for a long time. Like now he's getting a little bit of energy and he starts to get a little aggressive then. But uh, for the most part, he just wants to move around a little bit. But guys, never, ever, ever underestimate the snake. If the snake's known to bite, don't put his head near your face. Always keep caution and always make sure you got a little guard up so you can make sure you don't get bit in a place that matters if you do. But guys, um... Dang, this video is already cutting short to where I gotta get get ready to end it. But this is the new snake. You guys see him moving around more. I haven't measured him. I will do that so I can tell you guys how long he is. I think he might be getting close to two years old. Um, beautiful snake. I like him a lot. Beautiful snake. He's a little aggressive sometimes. So even though my hand's close to his head, I make sure it stays behind it. Yeah. A beautiful snake. Yep. It'd be cool to walk around in the summer with like that. <laughs> but, uh, alright guys, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I am totally stoned. Probably gonna regret this video in a couple of years if I ever, which I probably will straighten my act up. But, uh, guys, I want you to say bye to him. Please pray that he gets better with me because it keeps getting better. I really appreciate that. Red tail bow. Alright guys, thank you for watching this vlog a lot. Subscribe, like, please show me that you're enjoying these videos if you are. Alright guys. Still can't cut the fucking video off. <laughs> uh.